I don't know, Sha, but uh, there's something I saw in the news since uh, early hours of the day, and I feel like uh, make it. <clears throat> I feel like bringing it here so that uh, let's. I want to get a, a, a clear confirmation of it. Though I, I will see you do more research online about it, and uh, our brothers in uh, Africa, because what is really happening in the world right now? There's hunger across the world, not just Africa. But what is most shocking is how we are handling it in Nigeria or let's like just say in Africa and the rest of the world. Not be only Nigeria or not be only Cambodia or Africa and this hunger. This hunger is universal right now because they are trying to adjust the system and change how everything works and they just put the blame on the war in Ukraine, which is not true. Ukraine and Russia does not feed the world. So I don't believe that Ukraine and Russia are responsible for the inflation and the food crisis and economic crisis across the world. So that aside, but the more alarming of it is the fact that uh, I saw in the news say uh, our brothers and sisters in Zimbabwe, out of hunger and desperation and uh, quest for survival, are cutting their food and selling it at the rate of $10,000, $20,000, $30,000. And four forty thousand dollars per each food they will cut their food and to this point that there is a guy who is so proud to bring now make video of himself and put it online for people to see so I kept wondering why these things are always different in our continent why people don't just realize does, what sense does it make or what what is a full benefit of you with your God giving ten foot and you decide to sell one for ten thousand dollars and you start walking with one leg up one leg down or like you know leaping around so then i also want to know that who are these buyers and what is the purpose of these people asking for human food in exchange for money this the, you know we need i think that we need to actually find a way of sanitizing our people with quality information I, I know that internet access is very limited in Africa, but this is why we need to make use of the social media because almost everyone is on social media. Even my great grandfather in the grave is on social media. So let us make a good use of this internet instead of just coming and talk, making noise and laughing and all that. It's good to laugh. I'm not against that, but this one is really, really concerning. It's concerning to me, not because that I have anyone that I know, though I know few Zimbabwe here, but uh, when I meet, I, I think I've sent few messages out, look, thinking that I'm going to get a very more, a more valid uh, confirmation if this information is true or it's just some kind of propaganda. If it's really true, then the government should be able to do something more. But there's no how you can tell me. When Mugabe was alive, they said that uh, it's because of him there was hunger. Now he's no more alive and uh, they have a new government which they celebrated. Why at Zimbabwe? Zimbabweans cutting their food for sales in order to survive in Zimbabwe. Has it got it to this extent? Why, why does it have to be that Africans are just the only people on earth that are, are, are tackling hunger and poverty in the most wrong approach? Why? This is not the right thing. I think it, 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 the, the government should make some kind of investigation to know who are the who are the buyers of this human food and legs and uh, hands and fingers and what are they doing with it because it is not proper this is certainly not proper and it's unacceptable and we don't want these things to extend from zimbabwe to other nearby africa country uh, you know nigeria nigeria is one country one something is out and especially now if you evolve money and be say more and with these things that are doing now they're not going to kill you again they will just see you say give me your food all your life your food all your life I beg, let's, let's investigate and I am using this opportunity to call on the government of Zimbabwe to do more research and more proper investigation, proper investigation for the safety of citizens as well as the continent because anything that enters and has to do with money spread really, really, really fast. Let's work together. My name is Harry. Talk or leave, no time to tell time. Alaska Spice TV. Cheers.